Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I welcome each and every single one of you individually back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and tuning in. So I'm just having an afternoon cup of coffee right now. It's, actually no, it's like evening. It's like six o'clock, I'm just at seven. So I'm just making this video real quick. Getting this video in while I'm home alone. To be honest, I like to film these videos while my family isn't around. So I have a quick little, little, time period here where I'm alone. So getting this video in, getting it done, getting those daily, daily uploads done. Don't even worry about it. Today I'm going to be talking about something I'm very passionate about, obviously, and that's women's MMA. And this is just, this is going to be a short video, but this is just something, this is just a thought I need to put out there and just something that I need to reiterate to everyone. Mixed martial arts is the best sport for women. It's the best sport for women. Now I know there are like a few uh, predominantly like female dominated sports, um, gymnastics, volleyball, maybe a couple others. And those sports, you know, females are definitely given the, um, the front stage. But Let's be real here, like, how much attention do those sports draw? Some of these female dominated sports just aren't getting the attention that they deserve. And obviously, with them being female, female dominated sports, there's going to be an oversaturation of, of females wanting to compete and, and be competitors at the top level. Mixed martial arts is undoubtedly a male dominated sport. However, in no other sport, in no other sport, no other professional sport, are women provided the opportunity to compete on par or above the level of the men. You don't see that anywhere else in any other sport. And with it being a male dominated sport, there's less females who want to be world champions so honestly like in my opinion there's almost like a demand for women fighters like the only like the only women's division in the UFC that's really like bumping and stacked is like the strawweight division the, the flyweight division definitely has some action there but in, in the bantamweight division and the featherweight division there's not enough competitors like they they need they, there's no competition for the top level women fighters so at, le at least in the ufc there's a demand like they need like they have all these plans to just start signing women left and right and just getting getting those divisions built getting getting the women's women's mma scene bigger and we have to give credit where credit's due Ronda Rousey has one of the biggest hands in all of this. Like, however, whatever happened at the end, happened at the end. And, you know, everyone needs to, like, this is, it's a serious sport. Like, you're putting your life in, in danger every time you step in the cage. So, when Ronda realized, hey, this isn't for me anymore, like, I, I, I need done, I need out. I really respect that and being able to just just step away, know it's your time, and not risk putting your body in physical danger from you know mentally not really wanting to be there. So Ronda Rousey, I give her a lot of credit to where women's MMA is today and and the, the magnitude of it, and like I said. And no other professional sport are women given the opportunity to perform at the same place, at the same time, on the same level playing field as the men. You don't. Like, I, there was maybe one or a, two women in NHL history. I don't know. NHL is the only other sport I've ever kind of watched. I never followed it like I follow mixed martial arts, 
but I've never watched any other sport. The only other sport I can reference to is hockey, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see women in the NHL. I don't see like like a women's like NHL league. Like that's, they perform at the same level as the men. I don't see that in other sport. So that's why I believe mixed martial arts is the best sport for women.